So the current issues with data centre connectivity are brought on by the new scales that we're seeing based on um, the migrations from on-premise uh, traditional server bare metal workloads um, to things like cloud, um, either virtualization or a public cloud provider um, that hosts these applications and services in one of the, the, their data centers. That brings about um, high density uh, computing environments where numerous applications are hosted for potentially numerous customers um, and making sure those applications still perform to the same um, limits as, as on-premise um, obviously brings about those challenges. DC connectivity over the coming years um, again is, is all to do with scale um, and as this continues to ramp up um, and applications are expected to be always available. Um, things like disaster recovery and um, new methods and technologies um, to be able to grow out these data centres um, need to be adopted. Um, so one such example, um, VLANs in traditional environments might be enough, um, but there is a limit of obviously just over 4,000 VLANs, 4,096 VLANs, um, where in cloud service providers, that limitation can be a real problem. Um, so technologies such as VXLAN um, and other overlays can work around these problems to allow for the sort of scale um, that makes cloud possible. Agility in the data centre is obviously quite important. Um, one of the ways that a lot of people are, are trying to, to bring about agility and mobility in the data centre um, is by using overlays um, so that where an actual application is doesn't really matter. Um, things like data centre fabrics where an endpoint could be anywhere on that fabric, um, the fabric will detect where that endpoint is and will apply the networking policy in that location. Um, to make that possible and that requires things like automation um, and you'll see a lot of providers or, or vendors now um, offering APIs which are a programmable method um, of controlling the network or storage or compute infrastructure um, so that they can react um, dynamically to the requirements of the number of users or the application um, and the, the capacity. So the Internet of Things brings about a whole new host of um, smaller devices with that also brings a new challenge in, in security um, and, and how you protect your core application in the data centre which these clients are connecting to um, from actually being attacked or, or open to, uh, to malicious activists on, on the web. Um, Things like UTM or next generation firewalls can obviously be used um, in the data center at the internet edge to protect these new, uh, new threats.